Hello, good afternoon everybody. Um, thank you for coming to take a look at the journal that I've been making. This is my Peter Rabbit journal um, and for those of you that watch me on Instagram will see that I've been making um, different ephemera to go inside this. The making of a Peter Rabbit journal was completely inspired by the Peter Rabbit kit from Mrs Cox and I will link that below. So thank you Liz for that inspiration. The tale of Peter Rabbit, it is intact within this um, book. So the book is obviously a recover, uh, repurposed um, children's book. It measures six inches wide and seven and three quarter tall. Um, and it has a tassel there on the spine with a cup, some beads in it. So all the blues that I could find on there. And it's held together with a, a checkered ribbon. So the story in here, the story of Peter Rabbit is intact. Um, there are four signatures and there are at least 180 pages front and back. So it is quite chunky. Um, there's some bubble trim on there as well and some lace. And there's some tabs there on top of some of the journaling cards. So there's lots of space in this one to journal. And as I say, the story is intact. So let's take a little look inside. So on the inside... Um, the front cover, I haven't done anything with that. I left it as it was because I just loved the little images around there. Um, I've made a little little folder to go with it. So it's just got a ribbon tie and an image there of Peter Rabbit. This paper is actually from um, Living Life Creatively and I'll link that below as well. Then on the inside, a paper there from Artie Mays. So there's all sorts of papers in this journal. And um, there's a tall tag there that fits in there and it says Pierre Lapin there and that's from Mrs Coggs and then there's a picture there of Peter Rabbit wandering off. There's a card there with Mrs Rabbit and Peter and one of his sisters. That just tucks behind there. There's another picture there of Peter Rabbit eating the radishes. And then there's an image there of Peter Rabbit and his friend, and there's just some extra journaling space, and that just tucks in there. And then that just ties together. Just some extra journaling cards there for you. So as I say, there are a mix of papers. I went through what I had, and I wanted um, this book to also reflect the other person in the story, who is Mr McGregor, um, who had all his vegetables nibbled and eaten by Naughty Peter. So image there of a bird and some of the eggs. There's an image there of uh, Peter Rabbit, um, and I've used a book page that I had with a picture of a garden in because I thought that was Peter Rabbit going into Mr and Mrs McGregor's garden. And there's a little journaling card there that says Garden Diary. And one of Aos's, um papers there. And then that opens up. And there's a little tuck there. Little tuck spot. So goes inside and goes behind. And there from Artie Mazes Forest and Ferns. There's a little image there, Peter Rabbit. So lots of um, stamping on this one, on this journal, because I wanted it to look like the garden. Another tuck spot just here. And there's an image there of Mrs Rabbit. And then one of that's um, also from Living Life Creatively. I think that's her um, granny's vintage linens. So I'll link that below. The first book plate of the, of the book. And I had a large Peter Rabbit book um, and it had a book plate in it that said this book belongs to. So I've made that into a, a tuck spot. And then there's a journaling card there. And that says now run along and don't get into mischief. And there he is crawling out from behind a plant. And again, that's just a journaling card. And some, sorry, some images there. If you can see the little rabbit, that's a piece of fabric that I had a strip of fabric with Peter Rabbit on some bees on there as well. This page just made me smile so much because it, it was the image of the scarecrow that I put. It's an altered um, envelope, so I put the envelope part to look through to the scarecrow. And if you know the story of Peter Rabbit, um, that's where Mr McGregor hung, hung Peter's shoes and coat that he left behind. And there's Mr McGregor chasing Peter Rabbit, shouting, stop thief. There's a journaling card there with a bird and the bird's watching the commotion and everything that's happening. So there's extra journaling space there. And as I say, I, I wanted it to also reflect um, Mr and Mrs McGregor. So 
so I've tried to use some garden papers as well. And it says plant profile. You can make a note of your plants in the garden. This is an um, image again from the garden book that I had. And that just flaps down an extra journaling space. It goes up and down. So say lots of room. And there's a journaling card there. And I will link the papers below that I've used. Tail of Peter Rabbit. Lots of stamping. And then um, in the middle here, this is a um, dictionary page of flowers. So there's all different flowers listed on that. Lots of space, because I say, to write. There's a card there with a little, if you can see the little rabbit there, some fabric that I had. And there's Mrs. Rabbit telling them to go off and don't get into any mischief. The seasonal planting planner there. And then this is the back of the altered envelope here. Um, and I've just put some papers there that you can write on as well. There's a little fabric flip just there. And a pocket here, and a journaling card in there. And again, this is one of Bonnie's uh, from Living Life Creatively, so I'll say I'll link them all. There's Peter Rabbit being naughty. He ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. There's a page here, this is from Sarah Midder's. Um, garden but I just thought it laid out Mr McGregor's garden nicely and that flips out and on the back it lists lots of different vegetables so that's the first signature then in the second signature this actually comes out so you can journal on the back of it and there's a card in there that just clips there at the top There he is eating his radishes. Now he's got tummy ache, so he wants some parsley. There's some, just some fabric there. Lace down the edge. Belly band here with some vegetables so cut out into a circle on there. Um, one of the envelopes um, in the style of Artie Mays, if you've been watching her videos. So these are all decoupaged on. There's Peter Rabbit there and there's a stamp that I had, a Peter Rabbit stamp. And then on the inside, there's just some extra lined journaling space with an image of tulips on. Put that back in. That just fits underneath that belly band. There's a doily there in a bag, a couple of journal smaller journaling cards in the bag. There's an image there of where um, Beatrix Potter lived. Some poppies. And there's Mr McGregor chasing poor old Peter Rabbit there. And it's, this says potting shed, so that's um, a glassine bag. And then inside there are some seed packets. So we've got tomatoes, dill, so you could put something else extra in these if you wanted to. And then there's just a journaling card tucked in the back. And then this fabric has little snails on it. A curious herbal, so there's a, a layout of a garden there. So I think um, Mrs McGregor perhaps had aspirations for the garden. And then a fabric flip there with some fabrics that I had, little rabbits on there, and the bees. There he is, he gets stuck and gets all his jackets got stuck, got caught by the buttons, poor Peter. And again, this is one of the book pages that I had with a, a garden on, and I think he's just there being a bit cheeky, wondering if he can get in. There's a journaling card just there, 
and then tucked in the back again. And there's Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail picking blackberries. And just some, um, that fabric had little cabbages or lettuces on it. And again, a couple of journaling cards there. And a doily and some fabric. And I made a couple of um, side pockets there. Um, with some little letters from Beatrix Potter in. And then that flips out. I don't know if you can see it. So it's a, um, I think this is from the um, old design shop. And again, there's a book page just there. There's Peter Rabbit diving headlong into the um, watering can. And then this tells you some information about Mr. McGregor planting his seeds. And then the third signature. This is a CD case, so I've done a card there with Peter Rabbit on. That just fits in there nicely. It does, honest with the snail fabric on and it flips up and then there's another journaling card in there with his sisters on. Another of the um, window envelopes just there with some fabric uh, put on the side and that's just got the image looking through the window of Peter Rabbit when he got caught by Mr McGregor. There he is jumping into the watering can. Again, one of the flip downs, and then that has the extra journaling paper inside there. And another card, and there's Mr. McGregor looking for Peter Rabbit hiding amongst the plant pots. And again, there's a little tuck spot just here. There's a card in there. And there's Miss, uh, Miss Beatrix Potter there with her dog. And then a little playing card that I had with rabbits on. Mr. McGregor searching. That's just a journaling card there where he's giving himself a tummy ache and that's just a journaling card there. So you could use this as a, a garden journal if you wanted to. There's plenty of room. There's a I imagine that that was Mrs. McGregor's layout of what she would like in her garden. And again, another flip just a uh, pocket just there. It says outdoors. And again, Miss Potter. And another of those little playing cards that I had, and that just goes inside that file folder. I love the watering cans on this um, piece of card. Another fabric flip there. Some more fabric on fabric, sorry, I mean paper at the back of that um, envelope. And again, another side pocket just there some more little cards and they're letters that um, Beatrix Potter wrote with drawings on. Little Robin on there. And then the last signature, more of the side pockets and then it has a couple of the book covers from that Beatrix Potter did. So the Tale of Peter Rabbit and the Flopsy Bunnies. Another of the pages here, I'm sure it's the old design shop, and that pulls out, listing all the different things that Mr McGregor might be reading in his gardening journal, or his gardening magazine. Some more fabric down there. Again, another of the little glassine bags, and that one's got a little packet of um, cabbage, yep, cabbage seeds. 
There's a little chart there about nasturtiums for every setting. So you may be looking at what is planting. A little bit of information there about nasturtiums because they can be eaten as well. And then another image there of Peter Rabbit jumping into the watering can. So the glassine bags, they have um, three little pockets. So it is quite a full journal, although there is still space that you could add more things if you wanted to. Another pocket just there. A couple of journaling cards in. Another of the book pages that I had, um, and I um, fussy cut little Peter Rabbit out just there, and I think he's walking in amongst the uh, runner beans, looking to see what he can have next. And then there's just a journaling card in the back there. This Making this journal, the images just made me smile so much as I was working through it. Again, one of the um, belly bands. And there's the scarecrow that Mr McGregor hung the coat and shoes on. So this is the same as the other one. It's got some extra writing paper in. It has the um, napkin that I decoupaged on there. And again, another of the little stamps. list there of garden chores for spring, summer, autumn and winter and jobs that you can do Monday to Friday oh, sorry, Monday to Sunday and some notes the potting shed so that's I think Mr McGregor's domain there's Mrs Rabbit oh and poor Peter his feelings got a tummy ache he's had such a stressful day, bless him and there's Peter Rabbit pulling his carrots out of Mr McGregor's garden there's a journaling card there, and one just there. And the, the back of the bag, that one's got an onion seed packet in. There's a tux pod tuck there with another journaling card in. There's Peter Rabbit being given some medicine by his mum. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for their supper because they've been very good. Fabric pocket just there and that gives um, some clematis choices. So Mrs McGregor may be wanting to brighten up the garden a little bit. And there's another journaling card there that says seedlings on it and again with the little rabbit on. And that's the back of the journal. Again, I've not put anything on it. So obviously if you wanted to, you could put images on those. So it is chunky, um, but it does, it does squash quite flat. So there is room for extra things to be added if you so wanted to. Um, so that, as I say, is my Peter Rabbit journal, completely inspired um, by the kit from Mrs. Coggs. So thank you, Liz. And I do hope that you've enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.